everybody. Good morning or good evening to you. Meteorologist Travis Klineski. Uh, sorry, it's a habit. I work in the mornings normally, but filling in for David this evening on the uh, 6 and 10 o'clock news. And so I'm bringing you a forecast here. So if you're checking out the website, uh, you'll get a chance to see this here. And again, uh, pretty quiet weather for most of us today. It's been a warm day, a breezy day, windy in western Nebraska. And it's actually more humid out west than it is in the east, which is very unusual. Usually this time of the year, the muggier air is in the east and the drier air is out west. Anyway, we've got showers and thunderstorms in the high plains coming off of the Rockies. They're in eastern Wyoming and Montana and Colorado, and they're starting to move into Nebraska. And we'll see these move into the panhandle this evening where there is a severe thunderstorm watch out until 10 o'clock central time, 9 o'clock mountain time. And that basically includes the area from around Shadron to Alliance to Sydney westward into the high plains so as we play this out the strongest storms will occur this evening they will weaken as they move out of the panhandle so i think by midnight there isn't really much of a severe weather threat as they push into potentially parts of the local four viewing area so some weaker showers and isolated thunderstorms will uh, make their way eastward even into central nebraska by tomorrow morning we could wake up on our Sunday to some scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. And in fact, some of these could stick around through the morning hours. This model kind of has some of that clearing out, although some of it keeps sticking around. Other models do actually keep some of this activity around through at least midday or early afternoon. But if there is a little more clearing, then I do expect some thunderstorms to develop. In fact, we're likely to see new thunderstorms develop later in the day uh, into the evening hours. There is a chance of some severe thunderstorms for tomorrow. It's not a high-end chance. I don't think we're talking widespread severe weather, but there is that chance mainly for wind and hail. Another fairly breezy day for tomorrow. Maybe some stronger winds right in here. Uh, but again, as we go through the evening hours, more showers and thunderstorms. Now, one thing about this, and I'm going to back this up real quick. This model doesn't do a great, great job of depicting. We will see these are going to be some of these could be very slow moving in some locations, and as slow, if they are slow moving, then localized flooding or flash flooding could be a problem, especially right in here with all the rain we had back on thursday night and friday especially friday morning we don't need any more rain right now anybody else could probably use a little rain not right in here though we are uh, needing uh, the spouts to drop to shut off for a little bit here the spigots to drop off it has been so wet some areas had five to ten inches of rainfall the rivers the creeks are high they need a break but the rest of us could use some more rain and thunderstorms so hopefully it gets more localized to everybody else but the southwest part of the state these will continue into the evening hours still some localized heavy rainfall but after midnight starts to kind of clear out so there shouldn't be much left by monday morning so for most of us memorial day is going to be a quiet day that's good for the ceremonies going on monday morning if you have any ceremonies to go to, most places will remain dry. There is a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms later in the day and into Monday evening, but we're kind of mostly looking at slight chances Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So for the rest of today, tonight, Western Nebraska is the focus for severe weather. A slight risk of severe weather where that severe thunderstorm watch is in place, and that's basically for uh, these five counties here, Dawes, or six counties, Thing. let me <laughs> get my one two three four five six seven is there eight counties there all right we got Dawes County Box Butte County Morrill County Cheyenne County Kimball County Banner County Scotts Bluff County and Sioux County so yes eight counties are included in the watch and that's also that slight risk area there's still a small chance of some severe weather farther east here but there is no watch included as of right now for those locations tomorrow the threat spreads eastward into the basically the western half of the state, right around Highway 183 and westward. I would not rule something out farther east, though. There is certainly a possibility of it. But a marginal risk of severe storms, your main threats look to be wind and hail. There's only a low-end chance of a tornado. And also, again, look for that possibility of some localized flash flooding in a few spots out there. Temperatures out there tonight into tomorrow morning. We'll wake up on Sunday morning in the upper 50s and lower 60s. For your Sunday afternoon, a little cooler, still warm in the eastern part of the state, low to mid 80s there, but a little bit cooler for many of us in central Nebraska with the extra clouds and that chance of rain and thunderstorms throughout the day tomorrow. So that's going to hold back temperatures a little bit. Uh, Sunday night, more Monday morning, Memorial Day Monday morning, we'll wake up to temperatures mid to upper 50s and lower 60s once again. And then for your Memorial Day, a little bit warmer out there with that lower chance of rain and a little more sunshine. High temperatures should be mostly in the low to mid 80s. Even out west where it has been a little bit cooler the last couple of days, those locations are going to be a little bit warmer for Monday. And we're going to keep that warmth going as we go into the uh, rest of the week here as uh, temperatures will be rising up into the uh, 
Uh, upper 80s potentially on Tuesday. Still a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms there. Wednesday, more of the same. Plenty warm again, just a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms. And then as we get towards Thursday and beyond, the forecast might get a little more active once again with numerous chances of rain and thunderstorms Thursday later in the day and especially Friday and Saturday. And that'll help with the extra clouds around, cool things back a few degrees. So low and mid 80s for highs with better chances of rain. So for those that still do need the rain, you've got a pretty decent chance tomorrow. And then Towards the end of next week, more decent chances make a return to much of the forecast area. And hopefully, again, it stays away from southwest Nebraska. So there you go. There's your forecast for this evening or this afternoon and this evening. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your Saturday and a good rest of your Memorial Day weekend. I'll see you again on Monday morning. Take care and God bless. Bye.